You're back with another roundup of the tea with Jamie Lee. Of course, I had to bring in the one and only Mr. Langa Singama to spill all of the tea with me as we round up all of the hot spill trending all the tea. news. Stop. <laughs> Please stop doing that. The amount of people that called me out was like, girl, the uh-huh. backdrop is not giving. It's like, not it giving. just looks. What is it giving? It just looks like. What is it giving? It's there. <laughs> it's so there where? Try not to. <laughs> If I turn my head a certain ah, way, it just looks weird. Ah, ah, I thought you liked that. I do, you but not in a workspace. Like, in a workspace. Uh-huh. Okay. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's good to see you. Good. I'm surprised yeah. I didn't see you. What you do say you mean? Men's Fashion Week. That's that's your jam. Yeah, it, I mean it is my jam, but like uh, I was doing other things like uh, self growth and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, what did you get up to the weekend? I went to church. Amen. The brother has <laughs> found. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I feel like. Why do you have I, to? I feel like your mom needs to come and visit you more because mm-hmm. ever since she's left, you are just on okay. your spiritual journey. Ch- I've changed. You've yeah? changed. Oh yeah. The skin is glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nighttime routine. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, so you went to church. Gotta this make weekend? sure, like, uh, I look good for you. Hey. Right? You know mm. what I mean. I gotta make sure I look good for you. Look you good know. for yourself first, and then yeah. look good for me, which is what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, so you went to church this weekend. What else did you get up to? Uh, what else did I? And then I watched WrestleMania. Uh, what else did I watch over the weekend? I watched the F1, mm-hmm. uh, which happened over the weekend. Uh, my boy Lewis Hamilton didn't do too great again. You know what I mean? So the less said about that, the better. Mm. You know what I mean? Like let's just leave that alone. Let's oh, yeah, just leave yeah. that alone. Good to have you back. There's a lot of things that we need to recap with regards to what has happened online. In the world. In the world. Uh, We'll start off first with our very own homegrown reigning Miss South Africa, Natasha Obert, Mm -hmm. that recently opened up about her mental health struggles and issues that she's been having. What is she struggling with? So she's just saying that she's feeling unfulfilled, like she doesn't have a purpose, like life has just been, I think, meaningless. Even though she got to the top of of the food chain. She finally got the thing that she wanted. She's feeling unfulfilled. Can you imagine that, right? Mm. And I was just also looking at her social media. She also just got um, women's health cover. Mm. She just recently got engaged to her lifetime partner, um, Enrico Fermark, after years of being together. So you should be in the best season of your life, but yet still feeling unfulfilled. And she said, like, just the pressure and, you know, having these expectations from her has just put her into a... A difficult space she's Does she feel like the world of of pageantry is uh, puts too much uh, too much expectations on her uh, she, and so she's not coping with that she didn't get into you know what yeah. the expectations were but she just said that you know it's i think it's the struggle that she has with herself perhaps mm-hmm. where she's putting this pressure on herself you know yeah. now having this title of being the reigning miss south africa yeah. and almost coming to the end of her reign she has four months left and she said she just wants to find balance she wants to find uh, sounds like she's done with it she just like wants to go away from like uh the pressure of being you know like the most beautiful lady in the country sort of you know what i mean and just lead a normal life again mm. in a way but it also makes me think you know often you think that people's living their best lives you are achieving all of these things i mean getting covers and traveling and being miss south africa still that's not enough and still that's not enough you're still feeling like you don't have a purpose you're still feeling like meaningless and Mm. where to next and what is the bigger (coughs) picture and all of that so just be kind to people i think if anything that's what that story taught me yeah but but I i think maybe like there's a deeper uh deeper rooted perhaps a uh, spiritual thing there, mm. you know what I mean? Maybe she's suffering from um, some kind of like, um, I, 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 I mean, I don't know her, you know what I mean? Like, it just feels like uh, she's maybe exhibiting uh, signs of maybe like depression mm. or, or things like that. Maybe she, she needs to explore that further, you know what I mean? Like, it could be, it could be a spiritual thing. You know, like, what, uh, you know, be, people with money always say uh, that, um, just because I have money doesn't mean I don't have problems. You mm. know what I mean? You know what I mean? And as people who don't have that money, we always look at them and be like, yo, give me your money problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We always say that. So the grass is not always greener on the other side, I feel. You know, uh, once you get to the top of whatever game, you know, or whatever thing you've been chasing all of your life, uh, once you get to the top of it, 
sometimes there's always that void, that nagging voice at the back of your mind. You need to sort out mm. something, you know what I mean, that's not right, you know what I mean? And so I think maybe she's at that stage of her life, you know, maybe spiritually, maybe something else is going on with her. Uh, even though she's gotten all of these things that she's always wanted, but there's this one nagging thing that needs her to like just get her soul right, just mm. to get right, you know, just to be good, you know what I mean? Just right. to center her. Uh, yeah, she even yeah. went to do some tests, yeah. uh, some blood work, I guess she mentioned, um, to figure out if that might be the cause of it. Yeah. But again, I think it's having to detach and just finding who you are away from the public, away from from this title, because there's a lot of pressure when yeah. you have a platform like that, when you are Miss South Africa. And so, yeah, I think that maybe she just needs that to rediscover you know who she is and where to next because mm. it's it's like you said once you get to that spot i've been in that space before you know chasing the the, the next thing mm. chasing tv chasing radio chasing the next thing and when you get there you just almost like okay i got it so so what next so what what next you know yeah. um so i think maybe it's just time for her to figure out who natasha mm. Obert is and move on to the next season of her life where she's going to be a wife now um who knows perhaps wanting to start a family as well so you think yeah. maybe she's anxious about the reign of miss south africa be coming to an end and now she's not quite sure who she's going to be without the title perhaps yeah it could be could be that it could too be, could be that yeah because um, again you've been chasing this yeah, not this once thing for such but a long twice time. yeah and now you're in you the finally space. got it and now it, it in a way it's being taken away from mm. you and so maybe all of those things are running through her mind now i'm gonna go back to being just a normal you know what i mean normal woman or a normal girl or whatever you know what i mean mm. so maybe the pressures of that or maybe thinking about that maybe it's getting to her in some way uh, but we're speculating i guess you yeah know, at the end of the day but i hope i just hope that she gets her mind right that she 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 has the right support system that she gets to if she needs to talk to somebody because i think like uh, if 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 she's suffering from some kind of mental health issue then she needs to talk to somebody to make sure that she sorts that out a lot of people uh just um they sort of bottle up a lot of things and not talk about them and in this day and age uh with so much pressure coming from all sides you know what i mean and so much coming at us all the time we need to make sure that our mind is right that our spiritual is right that like just everything about us uh is on a good level playing field so that you are able to go out into the world and just tackle what you need to tackle you know mm. on a daily basis yeah i hear you yeah. i do love though that she's been vulnerable about vulnerable about, about it, it yeah. because i think there's there's a space for it you know yeah. people need to know that you know if she's going through something yeah listen we're all going then, through yeah, something we, yeah. every single it's day it's inspiring it's inspiring it's and inspiring. i love that she shared this you know teary selfie on socials Perhaps okay, that, okay that, like that's strange. Like, like uh, you know what? Like one of my ex about <laughs> one of my ex, one of I my knew ex. You're gonna say this. One of my ex are people crying on social media. Like, are you trying to tell me? Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you trying? I'm trying to get my phone. You're trying to tell me that you? Okay, you're like, oh, I'm feeling so horrible right now. But first, before I cry. Before I cry, I'm just going to take this phone and put it here and just get my tears rolling down my face and start crying so that ca people on social media can... You see what social media has done? People have to cry on social media. Otherwise, it didn't happen. I don't think that's the case because as someone who's cried on social media just before... Stop <laughs> crying on social media! No, but it wasn't... I, 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 it I, wasn't I, intentional. I, I was maybe sharing a testimony or something and oh, I yeah. happened to start crying. It's not like I'm, wait, crying and then, oh, stop crying quickly and then tears. And I, I, a, lot of people, a lot of people be if doing, doing that. If you do that, that's just weird. That is it's weird. It's so where weird. You just like, cute tears. Cute, like, and I then, have to cry on my TikTok. And I always wondered, like, what happens, right, <laughs> if the video cuts... Do you then just start re-crying after to re -cry. that? Like, you know with, with the voice note, when you say something, <laughs> and the voice note doesn't send, and you have to resend it. Is that what you do when you're crying and you stop midway? Uh, like, we yeah. need to stop like crying on social media. Like like these people who just like bring tears on social media. Like you know, it's one of my ex. That is Lunga's ex. Know? Please stop Although, crying. Although, you know, if you're going through something, just go and speak to a doctor. Just go and speak to a professional. 
Yeah. But I mean, she... Because, like, people on social media don't really care because they have their own problem. Mm. But I think in her you know? case, in her case, she was using it for the better good. She was actually using using her platform to show that yeah. not every day is going to be the best day. So... Anyway, we'll leave that story there. Let's stop crying on social media. Let's stop crying on social media. A lot of people hey. have also been crying on social media because Casper <clears throat> Neovest is off the market. The pe- the girls are crying. They're saying the man. Are you is- sure? The girls are crying. The the girls are like he's a gone man's now, and so. I don't know. I haven't seen any girls be like, "Oh my word." I mean, I was looking forward to Casper Neovest like being a bachelor forever. I wanted to take my chance there. I have not seen a single girl say that. I'm sure there's some Pretty girl. much, I've seen good riddance. <laughs> That's what I've seen. Listen. Like, I'm- no one has ever said, you know what? Out of, like, in South Africa, there are eligible bachelors. Ooh, who are the top 10 or top <laughs> 5 eligible ba- eligible ba- bachelors? Oh, Casper your vest is at number one. No one has ever said that. Hi, look at that. Let's be honest. No. Hi, let's be honest. I no think one there was still ever girls that. thinking that they have a chance. I mean, he's dated some of the oh, yeah. most beautiful women in South Africa. Because of his status. Exactly. Or because of who he is. But regardless, women love uh-uh, a man with a lot of status. Who shot Ben? Who shot Ben? Aye, aye, aye. Let's stop. Uh-uh. I know I'm not the tallest dude in the world, but like, who shot Ben? Like, who you say then? <laughs> This will be our last Stop podcast. Camping. We are <laughs> Stop camping. Kev, I call Kev. No one, no one, no one has ever said to me, you know who I find attractive? Casper in your vest. I'll give you this. He has a nice beard. I'll give you this. He has a very nice beard. And, and like, he like he's, he's got, got like ni- he's got ni- he like he puts out good songs and stuff like every now and then. In fact, even that he hasn't put out a good song in like forever. <laughs> the man's is busy. He hasn't. He's busy with his endorsements, his business, and also yeah. getting married. Like, that was a thing. There was actually rumors circulating that yeah. he was going to be getting married. Uh, the invitation got leaked on X, TikTok, yeah. um, not TikTok, uh, Twitter, Twitter yeah. X. And people were like, oh, no, this man can't be getting married. Boom! The man hits you with wedding photos. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, with his childhood best friend, not his baby mama. Congratulations, Casper, uh, your best. Yeah, don't be salty. The yeah. man's. Congratulations easy. to Congratulations him. Congratulations to him. It's just that I'm AKA forever. 100%. But I think that they <sighs> you know, squashed like, the beef. Um, they squashed the beef? I feel like they were civil. They were mm. civil at the end. It ended on a peaceful note, I guess. Um, so yeah, so. yeah. I mean, I mean, if you say so, if you say so. Congratulations to Casper your vest. Okay, uh, I wish him and the love of his life uh, everything of the best. Okay, From is that sincere? On. Very, very sincere. Okay, you know, I want them to have a, a good union. Okay, mm-hmm. and Casper your vest has recently. Um, converted it, it to being a Christian as well. Indeed, you know what I mean. So it looks like he's going through some kind of metamorphosis as a as a human being. You know, a lot of things are changing mm. about who he is. You know, but I just had to. You know what I mean? I just had to like. Uh, no one has ever said like, <laughs> "Yo, like." Cast to be fair, rest. no one in like my circle or people that I know have said it. But I'm sure there are yeah. women out there that finds Casper to be the hottest. Zadzi mm, out yeah. there. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm sure. <laughs> you spoke about your ick, by the way. Can yeah. I tell you what my ick is? What's your ick? My ick is, oh, and I hate to say this, not my ick is. Casper your vest? No. <laughs> <laughs> my ick is not Casper your vest. My ick is when when celebrities yeah. post their children on social, on social media, media with those emojis and stuff around them around them and you can't see the face now yeah. i get it i get it you don't want to post like, your child's like face little hearts but then and why stuff. then just don't post it all just don't post it all you're now showing us the child's new tackies and the child's drip and whatever you don't want to see yeah and then they say oh you know i'm trying to keep my life private then just don't just post just it all just keep it private just yeah. don't post just it all private. you know you don't have to that's be sharing. definitely another ick of that is my yeah. ick like just either you post full face or, or you don't post it all or don't post in it all. fact like I think, like kids under a certain age don't belong on social media. What like is a yo, certain age? yeah. Uh, like if if like a kid is like, 
like under two or three years old please stop posting your kids there's so much happening in the mm. world you know what i mean there's so much happening in the world and so much people who are predators out here you know you posting your kids you're posting your kids and your location and where you are and all of this stuff we've just seen what pdd has been Whoa. you know what i mean we just did we did we not see the jeffrey epstein uh, documentary wild also what just happened right here in atlantis with uh there you go jocelyn like even that that is scary um but yeah they are they are dark elements please guys don't be posting your kids on online mm-hmm. yeah. be, mindful. be mindful i'm not saying don't post your kids on you saying don't i'm saying yeah. just be mindful don't post your live location when you're at a certain place just be mindful but stop putting the emojis yeah, post, over your post, kids post a few faces. days later yeah you yeah. know a uh, paris hilton paris hilton and her husband carter are, are they the ones so no they are actually so they initially posted her son okay. and got so much hate so much bullying because the son paris hilton is married she's married she's got two yeah. kids she's yeah, got two kids what <laughs> what do you mean people can evolve oh. people can change yeah i guess so she's married congratulations paris happily married hmm. and so she posted a son for a very long time and people just came for because the son has a bit of like a weird head oh, shaped head it? um and <laughs> this is why you don't post this is why you don't post but regardless she was wanting to share the moments because mm-hmm. that 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 is her life right but yeah. hear me out hear me out so she was posting her son for the longest time and then she had her daughter via surrogacy yeah and people's like oh can't wait to see the daughter. What do you feel about that? Like people who have kids like via surrogacy. Cuz I mean, like you put your body through like uh, a lot to have your kid. Yeah. And you know women have the choice these days to do what's best for them. I think she wasn't able to. I don't know what her medical like condition you, was. But like as a mother, like don't you don't you need to feel that bond with like the kids like How is having a baby tummy? via surrogacy not going to have the bond? I think people automatically assume being a mom is just like when biological. Baby, when the baby is kicking through your your stomach and you're feeling Ay. that and you're going through all of those stages. Ay, longa singa, Isn't in, that like I'm just asking. I know you're I'm just, just asking. asking. I know you're just asking. Yeah. I think that women have the choice these days and yeah. some women can't unfortunately conceive naturally or you know they're not able to carry a baby. And so if you are choosing a surrogacy route, I'm not I don't think that she chose it for selfish okay. reasons. A lot of people also called out saying I've, that she didn't want to get fat and stretch marks. Some yeah, if some of, it, the, then I'm some of the celebrities do it because they don't want to get fat. They don't want the the grind or the mm. you know I mean that comes Can't with be being pregnant. Can't be booked for work yeah. for nine months. You see, you see, got you. I hope that that is not the case with Paris Hilton. Mm. However, she just said now that she's not going to be posting her daughter online because people have just been so nasty and so rude. And she, I think she was supposed to the hand on TikTok of a daughter. <laughs> It was like, oh, we can't wait to the see what she looks like. And then um, her husband said, oh, she looks exactly like the mom. But at this time, we've decided that we don't want to expose our kids to social media because it is a dark and yeah, dangerous place. It's a very place, dark and dangerous and place, And they want man. to protect them as much as possible. Do you think you'd ever post your kids online? No, I'm not posting my kids. Never? Never. Until they get to a certain age where they have autonomy in what they want to do. You know, if they want to post themselves, then cool. Hmm. But like... I I just think like the world is like a super 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 dark place. Mm. Like you think people are wishing you well but people like behind closed doors uh they cast in spells on you. Mm. That's oh. not that's not you know like I just think like uh kids are, are just a precious thing. You know what I mean that I don't want to expose to like um uh these kind these kinds of elements, you know mm. what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm already in it. So yeah. what if your wife was like the biggest blogger of time biggest or vlogger blogger. and she got a deal for your son or your daughter, you know? Uh-huh. And Eddie, say Eddie came along and said, "We'll give you 1 million <laughs> to post your kid in drip whatever." Uh-huh. Would you turn that bag away? Yeah, I'm turning that bag away. On principle. Okay. No, on principle. I'm because... keeping you accountable. Ah, right, you this, can right? you keep me accountable when we in are a couple married. Of years. When we are married, you know? Uh, me and you in a couple of years. <laughs> I need my child you all know? over there. Yeah. I need my child. My child aye, needs to be securing aye, bags. Aye, like aye, my child aye. won't even be born yet. Yeah, and I'll be um. like, mm, can't <laughs> wait for the Pampers bag, y'all. Like we are doing a baby moon. We are doing. <laughs> If we're not doing that, we're oh not fucking married. Hi, boy. 
kids are expensive these days. They must pay for their own stuff. Like I'll it's pay. Kid. I'll pay for them. Okay. Okay. I'll pay for them. I'm their father. I'm supposed to provide for them. Mm-hmm. Why must I? Why must some random brand who wants to use my child, you know, okay. you know, be allowed to use them any way they see fit? No. You know, I can't expose my kids to that. We need to speak about this pre-marriage um, counseling because <laughs> I, I can't expose my kids to that. No. Wait, wait. You know, we need to make sure that we protect what we love as much as possible. Mm. It's like even posting my 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 the the person that I'm in a relationship with. You know, I'm even I'm even weird about that. You know what I mean? Because. Once you put out like, oh, I'm in a relationship with so and so, you know mm. what I mean? Like, uh, people s- start saying and doing weird things. You know, they start saying and doing weird things towards you, or towards yeah. the relationship, towards the- you, and you know what I mean? Like, mm. you know, I've seen online people say, "I give it two months." <sighs> yeah, that is wild. What like is that? Curse. You know relationship what I mean? before it even started. That it? That's what it is. Mm. You know, that's what it is. So, like, people don't have your best intentions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, there's a group of people who just want to see the world burn. You know what I mean? They don't care. Like, it's just, it's just vibes. If you go to Twitter now, you'll see it. Mm. You know, is this like for them? Everything is a joke. I hear you. I always live be, like I live on the fence with that one because I want to love loudly and publicly, and I want to Mm-mm. love privately. <laughs> I'm learning Jamie that. Jamie Lee Domberg, love privately. Okay, okay, don't go. post your boyfriends so that when you break up with your boyfriends, <laughs> we didn't know. Should I post my husband? Like the only person you will post. Is somebody who's gonna put a ring on your finger? You are coming with all of the the facts today, sir. Yeah, the only person you post is that person who's gonna put a ring on your finger. Mm. The rest of them, they can come and go anonymously. It's this thing of like, oh, today we in comes pay. Look at us. <laughs> oh, today look who. Date night. Yeah. Cute. Aye. Stop it. Okay. Stop okay. it. Only post to your friends on, on, on close Instagram. Friends. Close friends on Instagram if you want to do that. If you have this urge to post. You know, if you have this urge to post, you know what I mean? It gives you like some dopamine hit or something. No, I don't know. I you think this urge to post, then you post to your close friends. But like this okay. thing of like your boyfriend is plastered on 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 Twitter, it's plastered on 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 on, on TikTok, it's on Instagram. No. Mm. Recipe for disaster. Also, this is how re- this is how uh, receipts come out. You know what I mean? Like you're posting your boyfriend, and then some woman is like, "But that's my mm, boyfriend that's too." That's my boyfriend too. Now you're embarrassed. <laughs> Do you want to be embarrassed? Oh hell no! Exactly. You I don't want you. to be. So just post a hand. I post an elbow. <laughs> I post an elbow. Yeah, elbow. Post a hand or an elbow or a shoe. <laughs> Well, I can't At least they you. know he's got a big. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, gotta beep that out. <laughs> I can't post your shoes because you only have exclusive shoes. So if yeah. I had to post your shoes, people would be like, "I know there's Lunga Singaba." I know there's Lunga shoes. shoes. You see, so yeah. I have to think of another tactic about that. Yeah. If you're talking about um, posting and couples, two or well, one couple that has really hit the mark. Yeah, Beyonce and Jay Z celebrating Jay-Z. 16 years of marriage. 16 years. I mean, listen, they have also kept it ready. For, first of all, <laughs> Beyonce and Jay Z. Let's just talk about that. What? Beyonce was very, very young when he when when they got together. I don't know why people don't talk about that. What was the age? Because uh, I How feel like he? the I feel like Jay Z was almost in his 40s. And Beyonce was uh, was like twenty something, and I like the age gap. It just made it gave me cause to pause. What is what is your thing? The age gap or the fact that she was so young? I felt like this woman is too young to be like running around with this grandpa. 
who knows? Maybe she just likes older men. Like maybe. Uh, 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 also, she's not. She's not fully developed as a human being. Don't we always say that? Yeah, the front. We can't. Lobe. We can't. Yeah, we can't. We can't have this different rules for different people. Hmm. Just because we like you, it doesn't mean we need to have different rules for different people. But I mean, it works for them. She was very young, very too young at the time for her to be running around with Jay Z. Well, that running around has led them to being 16 years together. So whether we say it was too young, they they survived it. They survived flipping the elevator scandal. Yeah, they yeah, survived I that. the Rihanna rumors. Yeah. They survived so many things together. So shout out. Can we celebrate that at least? So is it, is We're celebrating the well, fact Well, you can celebrate. I'm not celebrating. I'm celebrating the fact that they're still together. 16 years. It takes a lot to do what they do. I mean, on the level that they're doing it and still come out on the top so we're seeing so many divorces and we're seeing so many breakups online can we just celebrate so is that jay-z years? is jay-z and beyonce like your inspiration no for, for they love? are inspiration for themselves mm, that like, they got through that regardless it, of what we didn't it can see. last listen maybe it maybe it does last maybe it doesn't last but the fact that they got to this point yeah. in their marriage is worth celebrating that's all i'm saying celebrate love you know me i'm a lover girl i love love so i just want to celebrate that. i don't even think beyonce likes jay-z but that's on a different level altogether like yeah. i just don't you know what i mean she definitely likes him she likes him yeah i think maybe, maybe that's where it stopped like i think she likes him and that's i think that's the most important part i think, I think, like I, think someone. The, I think that their relationship is like more it's like uh, a, a, a union of convenience you know, like that they're a power couple. Perhaps. You They've got I mean? businesses together. They make money together. Yeah. But I definitely think that she likes him and she values his opinion. Because I watched the Renaissance film mm -hmm. and just the way she interacts with him and the way she speaks about him. You can't make that stuff up because there was cameras with you 24-7. You can't fake that. You can't fake mm -hmm. liking someone. You can fake loving someone. But to like someone for such a long time. Imagine faking your whole life for 16 years. Brah. Just because well, you'd be the surprised. You'd be surprised at things that happen at Holy Weird. Okay. True. Well, what did Nas say? What did you Nas think? Say? You think girls like you because of your looks? Negro, please. <laughs> There's no way Beyonce is liking him for his looks because please let us just be real. Jay Z ain't ain't nothing to write home about. So that's what I'm saying. There uh, must be something deeper that she's really enjoyed and really loved. Well, I mean, like, uh, really like, like you know, if you like, if you love someone, it doesn't have to be about looks only. I think. Hmm. You no, know, percent. There, there are different facets of like, you know, what relationships or what makes a relationship go. You know, so it doesn't only have to be looks. You know. I hear yeah. you. So listen, we have one more story to get to, and this one is probably more. the biggest story. You touched on it briefly. The whole. PDD, Sean Combs, also known as PDD. If you haven't been following no, the story, it's Puff it is Daddy. Puffed. Ah, man, what a wild story. I've, it's wild, eh? I followed it for a bit and then I kind of had to detach because it just got so deep. I found myself in a rabbit hole in TikTok as well, just yeah. going through what people were saying. This has not been an overnight thing. This has been happening for years. Yeah. Uh, some people said this is the reason why his ex wife suddenly you know, got ill and passed on. And I was just like, no. This is conspiracy theory. I just yeah. wanted to kind of see the facts. And so kind of waiting for everything to unfold. But if you haven't been following... But how do we even know the, 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 the facts are the facts these days? You know what I mean? Because of power, eh? Yeah. If you have power and if you have yeah. wealth and you're on that he level, can, he you can, can... You can make all this stuff go away. You know? <sighs> you know, you're, for the longest time, Cassie was out here like begging for her life. You know, and people were saying, ah, this girl is just looking for attention. Mm. I, you know? I do because hate, though, that she didn't go public when she sued him. Because then they settled out of court, so we could nev we never could see what's happening. Hopefully, they'll bring her back into this case now, in this new case. Because there's been more allegations about sexual abuse and, you know, battery and to him you, and his son. Do you think he did it? I do. Mm. There's, there's no way... I think for Cassie, I don't know her. Obviously, I don't know Cassie. Yeah. But there's no way that she would go on a platform like that. She's married. She's got her kids. To risk it all and do a tell-all and finally come out about what's yeah. happening to her. She didn't need to do it. But I think it was something she needed to do for herself. But also for the other, other victims and other people that saw him and praised him. And 
Yo, it I mean, like wild. They, I mean, like they're mentioning that Usher, Justin Bieber were groomed uh, by P. Diddy uh, from a very young age. There's a video that's very disturbing that's online of um, Justin Bieber and P. Diddy. Um, and I think maybe Justin Bieber was pretty, pretty young, just came in into the mm. game. And then Puffy is like, yo, what are we going to do today? You know what I mean? And then Justin Bieber is like, innocently, ah, oh, let's go out and get girls. You know what I mean? And um, and Puffy is like, yeah, that's my kind of man. Yeah, let's go and get, and get some girls. You know, like this is a kid. You know what I mean? So like it feels like all of this stuff was happening in plain sight mm. all the time. You know what I mean? It was happening in front of us. You know what I mean? Uh, and um, I just hope that, of course, like a lot of people are saying online, uh, innocent till proven guilty, you know, sort of thing. You know, like uh, what happened to R. Kelly and all, of, mm. and all of that. You know, they say we must reserve our judgment until this man is in a court of law, you know. Uh, if he's found guilty of all of these things, they need to put him in the same cell as R. Kelly. You know what I mean? They'll, can you imagine? Yeah, they, they that need to, will be wild. They, they they need to be neighbors. You know what I mean? And, I think and, they'll and actually then, start a production and company. Then, and then and then Kells will, <laughs> and Kells will show him. <laughs> <laughs> then he's gonna come out with a surviving R. Kelly in <laughs> yep, the cell. In the cell. Mm. You know, surviving R. Kelly. Do you think he he did it? That my God tells me that um, the 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 insurmountable. I mean, like the Homeland Security raided his houses. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, like, if Homeland Security is raiding your houses, obviously they have some evidence to do that. You mm. know what I mean. They have gathered up gathered up enough evidence for them to go and do that. You know, and also the fact that he was on the run for I think possibly a day. His his jet was seen. Uh, flying to Antigua, mm. but he was not in the jet. You know what I mean? So all of these things. So he's been doing like really strange things that don't scream, I'm innocent. Mm. You know what I mean? Settled with Cassie out of court because he was trying to hide something in that situation as well. Yeah. You know, so my gut says that the man is guilty, that Diddy did it, you know? But again, we have to allow the man to like to go to a court of law and and co because that's due diligence you know yeah. what i mean like that's what happens yeah in this sort of cases uh but my gut feel tells me that that he did it and then now we're gonna have to stop uh playing his music because what applied to r kelly you know will have to apply to puff daddy as well whoa it's just and it's like we mentioned when we started this podcast right that hollywood is changing more people are just unpacking what is really happening uh these crazy cults these crazy yeah. grooming i mean we've we've seen it across the years but i think now with social media it's just more evident and it's more out there and we can really see what has been happening for the longest time in plain sight yeah in plain sight um i also think that he's you know his girlfriend or his ex girlfriend uh young mommy is it young mommy? young miami young miami yeah yeah I don't know where she's going to fall into all of this because people's obviously calling her out being like, where do you ah, stand in this? Care. <laughs> she, she doesn't care. She, I saw a video this morning on Shade Room of her twerking somewhere. <laughs> I think she just care. did it for the bag. This man yeah. was just flying her out care. and yeah, she, exactly. was, she, doesn't care. she was living the yeah. high life because you're dating PDD and now that all of this is coming out, she's like, oh, yeah. yo, that's on you, boo. I, I mean, got what I needed to get. I get. mean, Kat Williams did say that this year, is going to be the year of the truth mm. you know that the lies are going to be uh debunked this year like that people are going to be exposed and he mentioned puff daddy's name in that uh interview that he did with shannon sharp he mentioned puff daddy's name he said this is the year of the truth you know what i mean and a lot of people were saying ah this guy you know what i mean like why would he he mentioned you know mm. what i mean and he said he's he, his asshole still has integrity. That's what he said. He said, my asshole still has integrity because Love I haven't done all these things that these people have done mm. to get to the top. The truth is going to come out one by one. And it looks like the truth is coming out one by one. Uh, the, 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 the walls are falling. Puffy, Puffy might be done. 
I think this is definitely an ongoing story. We are definitely going to follow up. I mean, the more Hollywood exposes itself, it mean it means the more tea for us. So let us know what you thought about all of these uh, top trending stories happening online. My name is Jamie Lee Domberg. This is Lunga Singama, and this is the tea. Peace. Peace.